Hey everyone, and welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Indiana Fever going up against the Seattle Storm. And from a great basketball city, Seattle, I'm Blake Sunigo with our 2K experts, Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. Happy you've come along. And tonight, two teams that use rebounding to try to control the game. Now, Tim, talk about the importance of boxing out in this one. Whoever wins the rebounding battle probably will win the game. Remember, when you get an O board specifically, the defense isn't organized, and it can lead to some easy hoops. And don't get caught up ball watching. You know, you want to find your opponent, box them out, and know that it's going to be a battle. So to me, the tougher team is going to have the edge in tonight's game. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell, covered by Lloyd. Laney outside. Achanwa can't get it to go. What appeared to be an easy two points just went straight out the window. Pass to Lloyd. Now here is Howard. Lloyd, six to shoot. High post try. Goes back up. And Stewart, the lay-in, gets good. Never gave up on the play. Stewart just doesn't quit. She's a well-rounded offensive talent. And it's out of bounds to the fever as Indiana retains possession. Here's Mitchell. Wheeler. And here's Dupree. Mitchell outside. Just five on the clock. Over to the left wing. Here's Wheeler. The quality shot contest will always put a smile on your coach's face. Stewart's one of the league's smartest defenders. And so just over a minute and a half played. Now here's Bird, guarded by Wheeler. Here's Stewart. That's basket number two with her third shot. Off to a fast two for three. Well, it's pretty simple. You can't let Stewart get to the hoop. She's too tall and skilled to stop. Now here's Wheeler. Outside Dupree. Oh! Well, you look at the Indiana Fever, even though they've struggled lately, the franchise, it certainly is a successful one. Never really had long stretches of not being competitive. Uh, the team has shown they will not settle for being a bottom feeder in the league. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. And that one misses. Well, I know it's rare to see Biggs shoot efficiently from the line, but Dupree is an expert at hitting free throws. Doesn't get the second. Howard with the ball. Bird outside. Lloyd. Outside Stewart. Pass to Bird. Floats one. Natalia Johnwa grabs the board. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Shot to stop the drought. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Here's Clark to the middle. 
Stewart. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Timeout called the fever. You always root for the underdog like Alicia Clark. Going to a mid-major program, she was a second-round pick in the WNBA draft. She's under six feet tall and really uh, one of the shorter forwards in the league, but she makes up for it with the passion she plays with. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Yeah, guys, and that's why you gotta love the underdog mindset of Clark, uh, a starter for the 2018 champion Storm. What a playoffs Clark had for this team, shooting almost 50% from deep. Really, at the end of the day, she's a role model for anyone undersized, anyone who didn't go to the biggest program. Now here is Lloyd. Stolen by Natalie Achanwa. Laney with it, picked up by Stewart. Brianna Stewart with the steal. Pass to Bird. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. And that one's good, Stewart. The story here in the early stages is how well they've been shooting the ball. An outstanding percentage. Look, this is how you want to start a ball game, am I right? Yeah, it just sets a tone. Now here's a Chanwa. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Passing, not exactly her calling card, but a Chanwa doesn't miss open players. Good eyes. Here's Bird. Six point lead. Clark outside. Pass to Bird. Shot clock at six. Three pointer. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. On defense, the Fever. Five on the clock. With the clock winding clock down. Violation. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They'll turn it over. So it's Indiana now. They trail by six. Pass to Wheeler. Now a Chanwa. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It goes on Natasha Howard. A standout for Canada internationally, Natalie Achanwa competed in her first game when she was just 19 back in 2012. An incredible experience. free throw is good and when the top super teams regularly dominate the competition some people ask what's the point in even playing this out well because we love the games what kind of question is that Blake come on one injury one suspension one trade can change the entire landscape of the league and remember there's just one basketball out there and that could be a challenge Brian I mean, we've seen teams self-destruct the WNBA championship is the big prize, but only one team gets it. So making progress as a team is something you play for as well. Now here is Stewart. Eight points for her. Bird outside. Howard defended by Achanwa. 
And it's Lloyd missing. Indiana trailing. Stolen by Clark. Pass to Bird. Stewart. Clark outside. Bird outside. Clock at six. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. You know, that's what separates Bird from other point guards. She has the long range shot to go with the handles. Difficult to defend. Now here's Mitchell. Lloyd grabs the board. Nice work there to contest the finish inside. Yeah, they got the shot they wanted, but her defense laid waste to those plans. As hot as she's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get her the ball and get out of time the out, way. Now a timeout called by Indiana. And you know, every step of the way, the expectations have been huge for Brianna Stewart, the top recruit in the country at a high school, then the top pick in the 2016 WNBA draft. The world was expected of Stewart. Changing it up here. Mitchell, guarded by Canada. Pass to Dupree. McCowan. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Stewart. Shot by Mitchell, no good. Great looking defense to throw off her shot. Yeah, turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. Now here is Canada. Outside Whitcomb, pass to Stewart. Here's Mosqueda Lewis, Johnson defending. The shot by Mosqueda Lewis, no good. Johnson outside. Poked loose. Now here is Canada. Pass to Mosqueda Lewis. Howard. Here's Whitcomb. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. And here is Mitchell. Whitcomb defending. Outside Dupree. Back to Laney. Mitchell, guarded by Canada. Tries to snap the cold streak. It's rebounded by Seattle. Here's Stewart. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Johnson outside. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Johnson. Laney outside. And the ball out of play. The storm will have it. Really careless turnover. That should have been the simplest of exchanges. Here's Canada. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Some solid defense from Tiffany Mitchell. Well, you have to like their work on the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Pass to Whitcomb. Langhorn outside. 
Now here is Howard. Johnson defending. Outside Canada. Just five to shoot. And again, it's the storm missing. Here's Johnson. Here's McCowan. That one's off, still out of sync. Outside Canada, Mosqueda Lewis. Puts it up from 12. They get it again. Langhorn. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. And this is her first free throw of the game. Crystal Langhorn at the line for two. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Well, Brianna Stewart, the future of this Storm franchise, many would argue she is the future of the WNBA, maybe the most dominant force in the WNBA, bursting onto the scene quickly as a rookie, and the accolades have been pouring in since. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. And they're having trouble stopping this run. And you know, the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Fever will retain possession. Laney on the wing. With her first shot attempt. They're really having a hard time getting anything to drop. And you have to give credit to the defense because this is where you want to really work for quality looks and just try to get that confidence back. Now here is Canada. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Six on the shot clock. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. Trifecta! They've made one bucket after another since uh, getting this game started. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, Tim. I, I wouldn't go that far, but it has been pretty ugly so far. And an overpowering first quarter effort, already a double-digit advantage. It's the Storm. They lead by 14. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Not exactly a neck-and-neck -neck game, but as the second quarter starts, there is plenty of time for a comeback. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Storm team out there. Good start for them defensively. They've forced some turnovers. And they've also done a good job on their end of the floor by not throwing the ball away. Here's the Fever with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Johnson. Now Laney. Whitcomb defending. Back to Johnson. Knocked loose. Whitcomb with the steal. And it's the storm on the break. Here's Canada. Good on the bucket. Indiana with the ball. Laney with it. And here is Mitchell. Dupree, that's in there. Tiffany Mitchell with the assist. A tough, knowledgeable player with good intangibles. Dupree's teammates are constantly picking her brain. Pass to Russell. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. Canada with it. Defended by Laney. Russell with it. Just four to shoot. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Now here's Laney. She's guarded closely. To the paint. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. 
It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. Mercedes Russell taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Yeah, and now the Fever are firmly in the Candace Dupree era. And, and, you know, she's a player that's very shifty with the ball in her hands. She knows how to finish and just has a great heads-up awareness to her game. Good on the second free throw. And the Fever made the trade back for Dupree in 2017. And that was a big moment for the Fever as they went out and made the move for Dupree. She's the leader of the team in helping usher in the youth. She's had success throughout her career and will be shepherding the team during this rebuild. Mitchell. Mitchell outside. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make. She is one for four. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Basket good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's, we've seen it a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Now here's Mitchell. He's covered by Clark. And shot by Mitchell, no good. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her next time they take it inside too. And really that's what great defenders will do to you. Pass to Russell. Canada. 17 foot shot on the way. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. A nice tip in to salvage the points from the missed shots. And those second chance points can, no, they do add up. Yeah, and, and that can be the difference between winning and losing. Exactly, and if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. That's why Tim's coach has always yelled at him. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That pick wasn't all that effective, but it got her just enough room to get the shot off. Makes it off the glass was not phased at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little phased. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey, she uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? Pass to Wheeler. Chanwa. McCowan defending. Russell with the bucket. He's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. Indiana with the ball. Trailing by 19. And here is Wheeler. Here's Achanwa. Whitcomb defending. Back to Wheeler. Knocked away. Whitcomb with the steal. And stolen by Mitchell. to McCowan. Now Mitchell from the arc. And that's good. Kelsey Mitchell for three. She can shoot off the dribble a lot, but Mitchell is also adept at shooting off the delivery. A crisp pass helps her square up. Seattle calls timeout. Well, guys, we all know going from college to the WNBA just isn't an easy transition. Just ask Kelsey Mitchell. The speed of the game threw her off a bit at first, but she learned to be patient and trust the process.
Now Bird, pass to Howard. Clark, she's covered by Mitchell. Bird with it. Right side, Stewart. Five to shoot. Over McCowan. The bank shot, no good. And it's the fever on the break. Mitchell with it. Bird picks her up. And Clark pulls it down. And here are the Storm now. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Mitchell outside. Pass to McCowan. Mitchell. McCowan guarded by Howard. Now Mitchell. Now here's Wheeler. There's the three. Good on the triple. I tell you, she loves getting looks like that from three-point range. Just nobody near her. Clark outside. Pass to Lloyd. Howard with the ball. Out to the wing. Here's Bird. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. What sets Bird and other superstars apart, anybody can make an open shot, it's the difficult basket she makes. The laser focus on the hoop. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. She's covered by Clark. Outside of Chanwa. Wheeler. Shoots over Bird. Up again. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. How big of an advantage is that for a team? Miss hoops turning into made hoops. Achunwa is relentless on the offensive glass. Bird outside. From way back. That shot off. And so the fever will take it the other way. She got one to fall in the first quarter, but in the second quarter, simply has not been able to find her shot from downtown. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Achanwa. And she converts the layup. After struggling in the first quarter, she has come alive here in the second. Bird outside. Poked away. Stolen by Natalie Achanwa. Mitchell left side. Pass to McCowan. Wheeler guarded by Bird. Mitchell outside. Shot clock at six. To the inside. It's stolen by Natasha Howard. And here is Lloyd. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And here's Sue Bird outside. Knocks down the three ball. Tremendous find by Lloyd. She's really a combo guard, but she has point guard savvy. Senses when her teammates are open. Sue Bird of the Storm, pretty much a living icon for the team. She spent her entire career with them since being drafted all the way back in 2002, and she really epitomizes everything this franchise values. Time called here. The Fever decide to talk it over. And Sue Bird, a legend in the game in so many ways. Yeah, three-time champion, countless all-star appearances. I know she's on the back end of her career right now, but still a face of the league. She has meant so much to the Seattle Storm over the years. Side Wheeler. 
Tries again. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Brianna Stewart picks one up. You don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. Free throw missing. Well, the unselfishness of the storm is pretty easy to see because they're always looking to make the extra pass and get the best look the team can get. And I would say it also helps that they have so many great options on their team. And she sinks the second. And for the Storm, they are usually up near the top of the league in assists. And at every level of basketball, high school, college, pros, that's the hallmark of a strong team. You can look at the stars of this team and see they play for each other. Great passers. It's why this team won it all in 2018. Clock at six. Here's Howard. That one is off. Natalie Achanwa playing some nice defense. Laney, right side, outside Wheeler. Jewel Lloyd with some nice D. Howard inside, a John Wall honor. Great positioning on the putback. Fourth in the league in O-Board during her breakout 2018 campaign, Howard is a threat to turn any missed shot into a bucket. Wheeler with it. She's got eight. Laney left side. The three won't fall. That's a look you can't pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Tips. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. A nice play to get a hand to that pass and tip it out of bounds. She was just a hair away from coming up with the steal there. Good effort. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. It's Jewel Lloyd with the drive. Foul called that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. You know, off the dribble, you better than Jewel Lloyd. The lightning quick first step puts defenders in a bind. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. The first overall selection in the 2015 draft. Jewel Lloyd came into her own back in uh, 2018. She made it to her first All-Star game and won a WNBA title with Seattle. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. It sure seems like it. Uh, they've spent a lot of time at the stripe this quarter. Here's Wheeler. Indiana again missing. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Pass to Mosqueda Lewis. Bird outside. One second left. A dominating first half of play, and so far it hasn't been close. It's the Storm leading by 17. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports.
And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. What a game we're seeing from Stewart. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in, game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. Inside, Chanwa. It's rebounded by Seattle. Now here is Lloyd, down low. They get the rebound. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. Laney outside, pass to Wheeler, shot clock at five. Shoots over Bird. Wheeler can't get it to go. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Park can't hit. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. And it's blocked by Jewel Lloyd. And they'll keep possession. Dupree down low, defended by Stewart. Dupree misses. Ugly start to the second half, missing their first four. They need to get on track. The first overall pick in the 2015 draft by Seattle, Jewel Lloyd was a point guard in college. However, when you join a team with Sue Bird, you have to learn to play off ball. To the paint, Chanwa. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. They got one. Now one of five here in the third quarter. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. A nice shot by Stewart. For Lloyd, what an adjustment she made to playing a lot of off guard, becoming an all-star. Yeah, great players, Blake, can usually play any position, and Lloyd adjusted her game as her three-point percentage has significantly increased, which uh, might have been what helped her earn all WNBA honors. <laughs> Shooting two. That free throw, no good. The second overall pick by the Fever in 2018, Mitchell came into the WNBA with a reputation as an incredible scorer. Over her college career, she averaged 24 and a half points per game. And the second free throw, good. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Canada with it. She's picked up by Achanwa. The shot by Canada, no good. The defense was ready for her, got a hand in her face, and made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs, rugged interior defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. Pass to Laney. Mitchell with it. Fires from deep. Canada grabs the board. He hasn't had much success shooting the ball. Back to Stewart. And the bucket counts, and she's on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Guys, if I had a game to win, and I could pick just one player in the entire world, my pick, Brianna Stewart. In college, Stewie won four national titles, four times named tournament MVP, a natural-born winner. And 
And Brian, those winning ways have continued after graduating. Yeah, Stewart was unreal in the 2016 games, shooting 73% and helping win the gold. And don't forget about the 2018 WNBA Finals, when Stewart helped the storm sweep and was named the Finals MVP. Man, these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. She's covered by Mitchell. Six to shoot. And Stewart gets it to go. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. The shot, no good. And the storm going the other way now. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Uh, okay, look, look. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. Here's Canada. Pass to Whitcomb. And here's Russell, defended by Laney. And out of bounds, the Fever will take it. Now Mitchell. Now here's Laney, guarded by Canada. Here's McCowan. Mitchell outside. Back to McCowan. Mitchell outside. Just three to shoot. Puts up a three. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. She's going to play her way right onto the bench if she continues to shoot the ball like she has this quarter. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Mitchell outside. Pass to McCowan. Brianna Stewart with the steal. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. Canada with the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Here's Mitchell. Now a Chanwa. Excellent D there from Mercedes Russell. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. It's all adding up. Well, you look across the team stats, it's one of many areas they're winning, and they've secured a big lead. They've looked very sharp tonight. I'm loving it. Jordan Canada with the steal. They're running. Here's the teardrop. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Here's the fever with the ball. Here's Laney. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense from Brianna Stewart. Now here's Whitcomb. Guarded closely, and that one good. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not gonna get it done. They need to figure it out. Pass to McCowan. To the wing, right side. Just five to shoot. Ball's knocked loose. Mitchell, McCowan with the bucket. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. Outside Whitcomb. Russell, defended by Achanwa. Russell with it. A Chanwa on her. Count it. That mid-range jumper is a great thing to have in your bag of tricks, and they've really unleashed it today. You know, some say it's a lost art, 
but they're getting excellent results with it tonight. Timeout called the fever. And fans now able to experience the game with virtual reality, even virtual cameras where they can recreate any angle. Brian, have you gotten a headset? Uh, Blake, didn't you say you'd buy me one? I mean, seriously, though, how cool is it that with the WNBA technology, we can see what Maya Moore may actually see on the floor? Or how about seeing the decisions uh, like a point guard, like the GOAT, Sue Bird makes? Uh, I just can't wait to see what is next. The possibilities with this technology are endless. All this rap money, look, I need too much. Money, loyalty, and love in the dream we trust. You switching up the players on your team too much. Tiny copy, that's my love, don't some bring us up. And we travel around the world, getting cream of what? Ain't you get off on whoever has to see the crutch? Lost baby. Yeah, you After all that looking tough, all these things. Both teams deciding to change it up. Indiana with the ball. Mitchell outside, pass to Laney, now McCowan, and here is Mitchell, down to five on the shot clock, the long three, and the shot clock expires, great D to stop him cold. The Storm making a switch here. And this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance it's been. Bird outside. With some arc. And she sinks the layup. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area, just dominating down low. And obviously, that's something the defense has to address. Pass to McCowan. It's rebounded by Seattle. Credit the D there. Got in her face, got her hands up, made sure she was not comfortable on the release. Yeah, stayed very tight on her. Didn't allow her the space she needed to get a good shot off. I, I just love that effort. Laney outside. Mitchell outside. Back to Laney, takes the three, can't hit that one. So the Storm will take it the other way. Bird outside. Canada, yes, and a nice assist from Sue Bird. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Now here's Mitchell, guarded by Canada. Pass to McCowan. Mitchell. Back to McCowan. Jordan Canada with the steal. Here's Stewart. And she makes that one. They've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. You gotta imagine that their coach is very happy with that. Four straight passes leading to scores. That's just great team play. Here's Johnson. Another miss and they've really hit a rough patch. Stewart, good. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. 10 straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. And here is Mitchell. And there's the foul. It'll go on Canada. That's her first foul. First personal foul. Substitution on the court. Off the inbound, and all around the rim that time before dropping in. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Storm out in front, just dominating this one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us.
And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Slice the D wide open with this feed. Uh, they really had no chance to prevent this basket. Yeah, it was a great read of the defensive setup and also wonderful anticipation of the movement of her teammates before the pass. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Stewart with the ball. And guys, thinking of small markets versus big markets, uh, how does that impact WNBA franchises? Like, I think all-star players want to play in big markets where the, where the lights are brighter and the uh, situations are more high profile. I think the idea of playing in New York or Los Angeles it, it might be more attractive to a big time player than you know Phoenix, for example. Yeah, and exposure is certainly a big part of it, uh, especially as an increasing number of players want to maximize their brands during their playing careers. But small markets can still succeed. You know, you mentioned Phoenix, Tim. They just won a WNBA championship not too long ago. One shot, one shot. I love watching players come into the league and dominate immediately. Stewart did exactly that after being selected first overall in the draft. Here's Mavunga. The shot will not fall. So the Storm will take it the other way. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. To end the run. Again, the miss by the fever. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. And it's Stewart missing. And here's Indiana. Pass to Key. Here's Mavunga, defended by Stewart. Johnson right side, just five on the clock. Now here's Vivians. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Paris. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. A foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And guys, sports science, a new buzz phrase. We're learning about the importance of sleep and recovery. How much of this do you really feel makes a difference on the court? If players have even uh, the slightest advantages against their opponents, they'll take it. We've long known about the importance of recovery, but athletes take it much more seriously now than in years past. Yeah, and, and I applaud them for that. If you feel good, you'll probably play good. And nowadays, players are also more conscious of life after basketball. They want to be healthy even when they're years removed from their playing days. She hits both from the strike. Tim, can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? They've been perfect. Brian, I almost can't believe this. As cool as can be, great focus, great efficiency. That's how they've built this lead. The right way. Shot to end the cold run. Mavunga. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Dietrich. Harris. Outside Zealous. The shot misses. And so the fever will take it the other way. Inside, Mavunga. 
And she drops in the layup off glass. That's the type of lead pass we've really come to expect from her. Here's Dietrich, pass to Mosqueda Lewis. Here's Paris, on the wing, Shavante Zealous. Rebounded by Vivians. And here's Indiana. Here's Key, covered by Langhorn. Outside, Vivians. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Back to Zealous. And guys, around the country, we've seen the WNBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game the right way. Absolutely. I mean, just look at all the great things the league does every year with their junior WNBA week. Teams host a variety of youth basketball events in their markets, and also they encourage fans to join the conversation via social media. Always great to give back to the kids, but don't forget, the top-level players, the NBA players, learn from WNBA players, too. All-star Draymond Green has said that he learns more from studying the WNBA because of their fundamentals. Here's Key. Pass to Burke. There's the triple, and the three ball is good. She had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick out the pass and get the assist. Here's Dietrich. Mosqueda Lewis, covered by Vivians. On the wing, Shavante Zealous. Trying her luck from deep. And again, it's the storm missing. Vivian's up top. Pass to Key. To the left side wing. Five on the clock. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Second chance points can just be so deflating for the defensive team. And here's Langhorn. Here's Paris. Pass to Zealous. And count the basket. She was fouled, and she's going to the line for one more. Here's Key. Defense, 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 Pass to Burke. Here's McCall. Burke. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. To the middle. Fires from 14, and it's Seattle scoring again. That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And I mean, she, she drains those, so I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. To the inside. A nice shot by McCall. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. And they're making this a runaway. Yeah, the only question here for us to follow is how big uh, the lead will eventually become. Outside Zealous. And the layup is good. They want to generate more of those shots in tight. Here's Burke. 
And footwear, clothing, always such a big deal for athletes. With the WNBA, we've seen it taken to another level. With the teams posting those arrivals of players, you better look sharp. Each player has their own style, own personality, own brand, and the fans love it. And her hard work on the boards gave them another crack at the points there. Fast as Ellis. The rebound by McCall. And it's the fever ball. Here's Key. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Zealous. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. Here's Dietrich. And she banks in the layup. It's been all about tempo and pace with them, and it's led them to a big advantage in fast break points. It's a big reason they're in front, Tim. All that early offense, when they've had the chance to push it, they've pushed and it. And this is a team that loves to go up and down the floor, Brian, and we love to watch it. Shot clock at six. Burke, the rebound by Paris. And here are the Storm now. Pass to Mosqueda Lewis. Now here is Zealous. Oop, they pick the pass. And it's the fever on the break. Here's Burke. Key, Zealous defending. And here's Vivians. And in the NBA, we've seen a huge Canadian influence with the Raptors winning the 2019 Finals. Multiple first overall picks from up north as well. And in the WNBA, are, are we seeing a Canadian wave as well, Brian? Well, Blake, Canada has put lots of resources into basketball. We're seeing that with women's hoops, too. You know, Kia Nurse is one of the young stars, winning some national titles in college, and has performed real well in the WNBA. And Natalie Unchunwa was a top 10 pick like Nurse as well. She's come into her own in the professional game after she also won a national championship in college. I'm expecting to see more Canadian players in the WNBA in coming years. And the basket by Mosqueda Lewis. But for the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Outside, Vivians. Pass to Key. Six on the shot clock. Back to Vivians. The three ball laces one from three. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Now here is Zealous. Mosqueda Lewis covered by Vivians. Here's Paris. Again, Seattle. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They gotta keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Pass to Burke. Avunga. Great pass to set up the land. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. So Seattle takes this one by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one in total control operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they never found. The energy here was just tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. Uh, once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm, the flow of the game. What a treat. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.